Welcome back! That they might end up with a lineup that uh, they can't really move around the map and buy enough time for Spectre. I'm still worried for Spectre's laning stage because it's mm. ET Spectre into Dawnbreaker plus Lion. So he comes to the mid lane, refills Sea Smile's bottle. Oh, Jabs. Uh, he's gonna be fine. Yeah, he'll be okay. And we did see a little bit earlier on that pressure on the Pakaz, something he has to be worried about. But oh, Whisper down at bottom again, dragged back into the Spectre and ET. Hughes' movements have been spot on so far. Makoto, he does uh, have two points saved up. Oh yeah. I wonder what he's looking for. But a Hex bottom, Spectre gonna get caught. Good stomp. Keeps the Dawnbreaker out of attack range. And E.G. just turning and fighting Matthew. Earthspike will come, the Starbreaker's there. Looks like E.G. will... Oh, oh god, will they finally get the touch onto the E.T.? But it looked like it could have been close. Uh, Mango discussion about buying Mangos and Salves on Lina just to, just to stay in the lane and make it more of a 50-50. Invasion now, though, from Talon, up towards the Dire Ancients area, looking to try and scout out the stacks that have been built up. And they will stun out the line, but the Dawnbreaker ulti's coming in. Yeah, they burst Saving it. Matthew, keeping line alive. Now the turn comes. Spectre haunts in towards the lion. They do bring him down, but Talon, they lose 23. Immediately obliterated. Pakas blown up by the Earth Splitter, though, as Q keeps on going with a stolen Earth Spike. A good stomp sleeps them up, keeps the tree in and the Dawnbreaker at bay. Talon, they Ooh, go in, they get out. Talon. Losing Queen of Pain and Spectre. Like, okay, you killed the Lina, but that's got to feel bad for Talon. Spectre and the ET will come in to help out now though as the living armor wears off. Down at bottom though, they do make the play under tower to kill off the jab tusk. So position three hero down and he was oh, a little lost down there. Dawnbreaker ulting up towards top, Solar Guardian lands but Q Good survives. Sleep. Good earth spike as well onto the two of them. Keeps the Rubik standing, running, turning and fighting. Matthew, two man split himself. Gets the stun connection with the Starbreaker as the stolen Solar Guardian. Q comes back in to fight, but meets his maker. See, Smile slays him as Whisper pops down the Virgilus Dale, the Seeds of Serenity, keeping him healed along with his Greaves. And Panda getting slept up again by this ET and Makoto, finally, with that sonic wave, taking down the Dawnbreaker. See, Smile now escaping, but I don't know if he's got enough left in the tank. Four one charges into the big pole, but the slows from the dagger, both daggers, in fact, from Queen of Pain and the Spectre will get a triple kill for Makoto. Oh man, Q did so much in that fight. And also Guardian Greaves, Solar Guardian Greaves, if you want to hey. call it, from Dawnbreaker. Panda does have BKB, she wants to join. Breaks the smoke. They're trying to blow him up, but he's got the overgrowth. Three heroes caught up in the root. Now see Smile from the left-hand side, and the Finger of Death blows up Q. No outplays av available for him as Pakaz. He's being sliced by the 23 Spectre. BKB's worn off, but the Living Armor keeping the Lena in fighting shape, while EG can look to turn and fight again. Solar Garden comes on in, 23 trying to slip off to the right-hand side, and jams back towards Pakaz. They've isolated the Lena and punched her out of the fight now. See Smile, he's on very low resources. This is Talon fighting around their Spectre as best as they can. The Blade Mail wears off though, and now she's in a 1v4. Doesn't have the backup she needs with no Queen of Pain, Rubik miles away. Gets over the cliff tops, but see Smile with a double kill. Positioning in this team fight. Not stolen there by the Rubik. Gets the lift onto see Smile. He's got the Celestial Hammer, but the Dissimilate and the damage just roar from EG. But in comes the Horn. Spectre wants see Smile. They don't have the stuns, but they've got the damage. Jumping in with Makoto now as Matthew turns with the Earth Spike. Whisper. Thinking about it, the Finger of Death helps out, and the Starbreaker landing on the two of them, but again the sleep from Ollie. Pakaz finds the Light Strike Array, two heroes caught in it, Jams will go with a punch and snowball, but a double kill for Pakaz. Lena is online. They want to have something to TP to for protecting the Roche with the buybacks. Oh, the catch on Jabs. Lightning, Light Strike Array, and even the Overgrowth. One thing to make sure he had no snowball or blink opportunities there. Also one of the reasons why Gleipner is so good. Uh, any kind of root mechanic uh, does mm. make Tusk's life miserable. Mikoto might be in trouble, man. Oh, the he hex. gets the hex off. He four stabs himself in. They're going to haunt to try and fight this. 23 wants in, but as soon as he gets there, wants out again immediately. Didn't want to stick around. 
And that was the that was the full haunt, right? That wasn't just an, uh, a shadow step, and they're gonna jump in for more. Q gets blown up. See Smile and Whisper catching up to Ollie, and it's a disaster now. Talon, oh boy, you had your chances, but EG are running rampant on the radiant side of the river now. See Smile will finish off the ET with ease, and Roshan's being pinged. Always reminds me of the Pokemon. Pins yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say it. Here's a cool one. Bug Pokemon don't get enough love, I swear. Kick. Oh, there's the kickback. Whisper in towards the tier 3 in the Radiant base and surrounded Reeves by talent get heroes. Yeah. Well. You start respecting this uh, kick from Tusk. Another one is available. He's providing vision. And the Haunt is there to try and catch anybody out from EG, but Sea Smile, very maneuverable. Quickly disengages from the danger. There's the catch on Pakas, though. Jabs has moved in. The BKB for the Lean is allowing her to stand and batter down on the Tusk. A mega kill streak for Pakaz and the Queen of Pain forced just to blink away. She also hits level 20, so the Fiery Soul burst stack. Oh, they found him. Forces BKB. BKB. I mean, Makoto's dying. He's oh dead. He's God. not dying. God. <laughs> uh, make, if they want to go for this extra creep wave, they're going to get punished. And now, 23 is in trouble. Yeah, he is. C Smile's got his number. And in comes Matthew. Blinks across, gets the hex into Earth Spike, waiting for the figure of death to allow the rest of his team to catch up and kill off 23. Takes a little longer than they would have liked, but in the end, job done. I mean, that's now Queen of Pain dead. She was gone for 40 seconds. Okay, Panda is taken out by Jabs mid. Yeah, quite a distance away. Full minute for Roche. So plenty of time here for EG to invade. Pakaz under a sentry, but still finds the catch onto both of them. The Tusk has moved in and died after blinking. Makoto and Jabs annihilated. Now Q, the next one on the list. Trying to chase Ollie at the same time. He'll go for the TP and attempt his escape. Nope, he's rooted. Stunned by Lina. Killed off as well. And in quick succession, EG just find three juicy kills. Spectre has the haunt at the ready. We'll just take a peek at this vision though. Radiant have an Ob's Ward watching over the Triangle and the Roche. The haunt. Tries to jump in, they do kill off Matthew quickly. EG That's thinking about back. their options now. You're right, you will use it to come back to the outpost. In the back lines, we've got Sea Smile toying with the Spectre and the Queen of Pain, while Whisper's Dawnbreaker down to half health. Pakar's trying to save him, but Jams has a BKB along with Makoto, looking for the kill on the Dawnbreaker. Ollie dies and buys back, and Panda moves in with the overgrowth, finding Jams. Sea Smile dead in the back. He was messing with them, but they've killed him. Whisper now falls, and Talon, they've got a good grasp on this fight as long as they can survive with their Spectre and Queen of Pain, and things could be fine. Pakaz trying to move forward, looking for the Quop and Spectre, but they retreated. Jabs did ping out the Void Spirit and the Lion, so looking towards the next fight, they will be the targets of choice for Talon. As over at the Dire Secret Shop, we've got the Spectre being caught out by Sea Smile and Matthew. Quite a bit of damage being reflected by the Blade Mail, but they've got the control onto 23. The Slow and the Finger finds the finishing touch, and now he's dead for 80 seconds. Probably have a good idea that uh, she doesn't have it, Jabs. Oh, the kick. Send him under tier fours with a lift and a drag back. They've got the first kill on Lena. That's a huge victory for Talon. Can they do it again? Three seconds for another kick. Pakaz with a load of sorb on him though. Sleep to start things off. Get rid of all these nasty bits of control and protect your Lena. As oh, BKB the BKB with the overgrowth, he jumps on in, but Panda, he's got the initiation to allow Pakaz to unlaunch hell upon Jabs now. They will be able to look for Panda's tree, and Makoto unloads the damage onto him, but he overseal totems down to the low ground, while off the left, he smile is diving and hunting for Ollie. Meanwhile, Pakaz focusing buildings. The objectives are what he came for, and that's what he's going to aim for right now. Jabs using a BKB there before he jumped, and the panda understands that he saw it. He saw a glimpse of it. Blinks in. Three seconds until Spectre respawns. Yeah, they no definitely tusk. need ja Jabs to be in this fight. He needs 200 gold for buyback. The stolen overgrowth. They've got in under four of them. Killed off Matthew, but the Spectre being punished. The leanest damage looked like it was enough, but 23 has got back to high ground and survived. Makoto barely alive. Both scores so, so low oh. that this could have been a disaster if Queen of Pain dies. Save the flyback for now. Either you buy out or you buy back. And there we go. We're the Tusk and the Spectre finding a target, but Lotus Orb, I believe, going to reflect the snowball back. 
Dragging he with the aim, good, has a then. good space to be in, gets the catch with a stolen snowball! Now the Gleipnir, attempted lift to save himself, Q trying to escape, but an ah, another three kills, sweep through this top part of the map by EG. And it sets up the Starbreaker really nicely. Oh, TP bottom now, they're going to catch on to 23's Spectre. Solar Guardian, in we go with the TP from Lena and blow her up! Once they start hitting your throne, you need to use it. Because I don't think they're going to go for Mega Creeps. I think you start hitting the tier 4s because you're so much closer to it. Let's see, Pakaz. Top it's the a safer Domino's choice. One one. Yeah, we just want to see the world burn. Where is Pakaz coming gone? out. Pakaz has gone out of there. He's trying to get in with the catch on to the Lena. Makoto. Quite a bit of damage here on him, but she's got Satanic and Gleipnir ready to pop at a moment's notice. So she's back. Still back in the kick in again. They kill off Pakaz. Well, only really losing their Rubik in this engagement. Whisper trying to escape with a Celestial Hammer, but gonna get closed in on by the Shards and Stolen Light Strike Array. Whisper down and Talon hold. It will have a root for two seconds, so that's another way of setting things up for LSA. Let's see. Catch. Going on the oh high ground. Oh god! Oh, they just annihilate Holly. Snap buyback from him as well. And up to the high ground they go, you're right, battling in towards this ancient area. Sea Smile, half health, the Spectre and the Queen of Pain trying to bully him back, but he's got the Eon deck to assemble it and keep himself nice and healthy. Life Strike Ray misses from Q, because Sea Smile dodges and sidesteps everything. And now they try to haunt in with the Spectre, looking towards the back lines. The Whisper Dawnbreaker able to tank through the majority of the damage while Lena arrives. Pakaz is here, Laguna Blade thrown, Snowball comes, Panda, he's coming in, but no overgrowth ready. Still, they've got the damage to bring down Whisper, but can they kill off the Pakaz Lena? Good sleep. Controlling her up with a sleep, you're right, and Makota's back in with a hex. Tries to get into Invis with a stolen Light Strike Array. Talon have done it! An ultra for 23 Savage! It's time to get inside the Rose with Mentalon. But that's not what they're doing. They're hunting for the line first, then finding the tree in. They're picking off individual targets and re removing the safety net of the Lena. EG. Trying to fight in the mid lane, two man stun on the Spectre and the Tusk. Eon Disc is proc, jabs at Makoto, they've got a big Sonic Wave, and the Earth Spill is there as well. Trying to finish off the Panda Tree in, but he's got the Eon Disc himself and an Overgrowth. Pakaz is the first to fall, though the leaders focus down. Whisper trying to stand his ground, in comes Sea Smile as well, but Makoto and 23 have got nullified towards Matthew. The Refresher up and the Haunt again. Moving onto the line, blow up Matthew, and look for target after target! They've lost two supports on Talon, but they've got the big core kill they wanted! Alina does have buyback, definitely does not want to use it here. Vector still holding the Aegis. She used the refresh shot she though, did. so next fight will She's not still available. Oh, see Smile. Double Astral Step. Slips away from the grasp of Makoto. Oh, Queen of Pain, do you want to go up the staircase here? It's a little spooky. He's diving and hunting for Sea Smile. In comes the rest of EG, though, surrounding the Quop. Makoto's back out of there, jabs in, hunting for them, but the Quop is dead. Sea Smile got the finishing blow. And Whisper, with that Havoc Hammer, just pushing the Spectre around, while Jabs has walked into his own doom now, it looks oh, like. Oh, Talon, what are you doing? Oh, no! Oh, man, I... <laughs> EG looking for the Mega Creeps. Queen of Pain has bought back. No Tusk for 70, and that's been your vital element, but they're blowing up Sea Smile. Void Spirit down and out for a good old time, has to buy back as they turn on towards all his ET. Matthews, the Undisk Procs, and Spectre being turned on. It looks like EG's got this one in the bag now. Aegis claimed up. EG, five man strong, and two heroes dead on Talon. So a 3v5, make that a 5v2 now. Two minutes without the spec, and the base is cracked wide open. His buyback is on cooldown for two and a half minutes. Mm. Uh, let's see what they can do. Mikoto does have refresher available. They buy back on spec. Looking for the lean of the stolen damage, trying to zap her down as a good amount onto Pakaz and they blow her up. But she's got buyback, she can return to the fight, the throne is exposed, Makoto's in with his BKB but Pakaz is here, shredding through everybody. Looks for the buildings now and EG going to secure game one. It was close for Talon though. Almost mounted a comeback, I, I 50 think they minutes had, in. I think they had a couple of more fights left if they didn't go for this. Uh. Here we are, game two, ready for your viewing pleasure as we head into Talon versus Evil Geniuses for the group stage at the Lima Major. So far 0-0, zero, zero, a bit of a slow start to the game, but very low on HP. Yeah, they, they've just been poking at 23, it's not comfortable at all. Well, the bottom lane, they are having a crack at Matthew and finish him off with his tag team from Q. So finally, Talon up on the board, while Panda dies up at top, dives a little too deep.
they are already pressuring the top tier one. They have put so much damage onto Oli, in fact, through this laning stage. The Whisper just trying to get this kill, looking for the finishing blow. Oh, will he find it? The trick to the trade gets Oli out of there. Barely escaping with his life. And Whisper, with no levels in Lightning Storm, can't finish him off. Needs to go back. Trent Protector made to refill the bottle for his Spirit Breaker, and they will get Pakaz with that uh, first us usage of the Zeus ulti. Away from that bottom lane. Matthew gonna drag them around as well. Well, 23 dead again to Whisper. All the way between the tier 1 and 2 top lanes. That's a solo kill. Three points in Edict. Uh, he's gonna start to pressure some towers, and now Drop we see in. the power of They've this. They've got the Zeus Snowball comes across. And they're gonna get the Sentinel Stomp from the neutrals to help out. Kill C Small. Makoto and Q is gonna pummel into the Spirit Breaker. They trade their Don't blood kill it. for a couple of kills. Let it live. This is your buddy. So looking to kill off this tier one just eight minutes in. And with Matthew's rotation, Whisper's damage looking pretty hefty. They need Oli to come in with a smoke screen so he can't land the stun. Four heroes here now for Talon. Aiming for Matthew, two man split earth, and in comes C Small. The charge across. Gets a hook. in there. Whisper dragged in. The snowball, the damage is enough to kill the ledge, but Pudge is falling. Whisper gets the kill from the grave through the Dalbark Edict, and Makoto, very low on HP. Has a fairy fire and the heavenly jump to get away. Q left stranded now though. So another charge in will allow them to finish him off. And the tier one at just 61 health. And he stops it. The rest of the team is not there. He's still in Viz. Thinking about it. Keeping vision on the purge. A bash comes. They've got control. The telekinesis didn't even get his fleshy bot. So they have the damage. While Q, he gets the punch and a massive amount of DPS. Thrown up to see Smaller Matthew with a charge back in towards the zoo. Good, and there's the snowball dodged by the Yules. You're right. Well done. But with the Thunder God's Wrath to finish off C Smile, at least something going Talon's way there. How's, how's Ricky looking? Ricky. Well, up at top, Dire Vision sees Whisper and Panda. Uh, even with the Yule Scepter here, uh, you're going to get a little bit of space, but with 100 HP remaining, hits the ground with a thud. And Talon, looking for Panda's Treant, we'll close the gap on him, sprout him up, and finish the Treant off. So no real response there from EG as they, they push pretty far forward in that top lane. Where Ricky does have enough gold to buy it, same goes for Zeus, and now they're trying to set things up here bottom. Yeah, TP in with jab, set it up with Oli and 23 Savage. Get the dismember onto him and see Smile. Taken down quite quickly. And Orchid on Naga Siren, BKB on Leshrac that is. And then they can feel much more comfortable coming into a fight, but we'll be going, or at least try to go for the pickoffs. Lift is available. So much chain disabled. They charge with a couple of bashes, Woo! Nether Strike and Telekinesis. That damage from Zeus. Yeah, two heroes surviving on about 100 health or 23. Dismembering away at Pakaz. And again, this bottom lane just is not a safe place to be. Kill off the Treants. Try and keep them away from the ancient area. Oh, Talon. Snowball on into mid to kill the Rubik. And a sleeping dart there, finding Treant. While well, C Smile, he charges in. Catches two with a bash of Pakaz. Riptide, shredding through jabs. Those but they don't have the so quickly. touch. The Ricky tricks the trays, surviving, and the song comes, but too late. The Zeus got the damage into the Spirit Breaker as Pakaz and Whisper, they dodge the hook. Split Earth dodged by the Snowball though, and they turn on the Lash quickly while Talon, just so much raw damage and potency here to take down EG. Three gone, and no casualties from the Dire side. What would have been nice for them. EG also decided to take a fight. The Lash Rack was oh, missing so 100 well. gold for his BKB. They're gonna take out Sea Smile. But yeah, most of the time when you see Spirit Breaker being taken out, you're like, yeah, you know what, it's uh, just a position 4 dying, but this is a mid Spirit Breaker. Yeah. And he charges in, under vision. Darted, bolted, blasted, and down bottom 23, going to dismember up and eat the very tasty vegan treant there. But he's got the backup of Whisper and Matthew. Connecting with the stun, the snowball save though. Q, he comes in and buys time for 23 to run away. Gets the punch out, the thunder goes round, finishes off Whisper. The hook will miss, but Jab's now TPing in to kill off Matthew's Rubik. Talon, Talon, Talon. Every time somebody gets gone on, every time there's a treant or a spirit breaker charging and hunting from the tree lines, they've got the response. One Zeus salty, one bread of nature. Everyone's down to half HP. Charge. Cancel the game. stop it. Bolt into Dart. And a snowball back in. See smart not having a game. Uh, like it looks like a grief maybe to some people. Like, yeah, what is this Lincoln's for? Uh, it still gives you a decent stat top lane. Yeah, they've got this orchid on to 23. 
Panda thinking about the overgrowth and he has to use it because in comes Jams with his BKB up. They're not going to lose the purge and they'll get two kills. Huge, huge victory again for Talon. Bit of an interesting build up Spirit Breaker. Well, oh, fast kills from Whisper. Charge. But Gleipnir, Sleeping Dart, the control on him with a Walrus Punch through the BKB, and the physical damage comes from Jabs. The carry, the real carry has arrived. Nature's Prophet, full control of this game as they move into Roshan now. DP from Nature's Prophet. If Ricky's there, he can, like, see you, he can stop it and the uh, oh. Dart uh, into just, the hook combo. It's just so beautifully done. Every part of that was gorgeous from Talon. They also get Pakars over in that bottom jungle. Doesn't seem to be in a mood to defend it, or never mind. Panda blink again. Yeah. It's only on one. Overgrip is on the Zeus, but he gets out of there with a the delusion rune. The Zeus gonna get telekinesis stuff, but Jabs is just opening up onto these heroes. The Yules up from Whisper allows the Pulse Nova to kill off the Nature's Prophet. But they've already lost the uh, Spirit Breaker, the Treant, the Lash Rack about to fall, the triple kill for Jabs, and he looks for more. 23 dominating, and this game looks like it might be over. A fully completed Assault Curass at this point makes things very Assault simple. the Hook, all right. Oh. This, this is it. This is the comeback. <laughs> this is it. Gets jabbed, drags him back. Telekinesis up, but he's got BKB if he needs it. See Smile does connect onto the Tusk, so no play there for him. Well, Yules from the ledge. It does allow him to get the damage out with the Pulse Nova, but when he lands, he disappears. Now Picasso's turn with the Song of the Siren. Gets the sleep onto a bunch of them, but then gets slept himself. The Sandman comes, and it's all <laughs> Hiding from the invis in this Ricky form as Spirit Breaker and Panda that charged in towards the Gleipnir of Jabs. Held in place, rooted up, Illusion sent forward, but that's it. Lights out. Three heroes dead again and the barracks wide open. GG called, they know they've got no answers. Series over and another 1-1. Good execution from Talon in the second game. They didn't have much farm on 23, but the rest of the team did play extremely good. Mikoto, I think he ended up the game with actually zero deaths. Yeah, 8, uh, 0, and 15. Jab